take a look at this brief passage from Ronald Reagan's famous speech in Berlin, challenging Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev to tear down the Berlin Wall. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Now, suppose we wanted to describe that moment. How might the golden rule of writing guide us? To say anything about this scene, we want to start strong. So what does that mean and what does it look like? Well, we might say what happened. Reagan challenged Gorbachev. Or we might set up the situation with just a few words to orient the reader. After a pause for emphasis, Reagan challenged Gorbachev. Now, how might we finish strong? Again, two ways to finish strong. First of all, complete your thought. Reagan looked out at the crowd, etc., etc., and challenged him to tear down this wall. So Reagan looking out and challenging Gorbachev to tear down the wall. That sentence completes the thought beautifully. Another way to finish strong is to offer a compelling question. Reagan's speech won immediate praise, but no one knew the impact it might produce. You're kind of leaving things open for the reader to ponder. Another way to finish strong is to offer a compelling image, to kind of burn that image in the reader's mind to carry with her as she moves forward. Reagan challenged Gorbachev before a vast crowd at the symbolic site of the Brandenburg Gate. Now, what about the middle? The middle, first of all, offers a bridge, a series of steps to get from the start to the finish. So after Reagan looked out on the crowd, he assessed the mood of the crowd, that's step number one. He glanced at the teleprompter, that's step number two. He paused a beat, that's step number three. And then he challenged Gorbachev. In the middle, you can also provide attribution, where you got your information, or background information. I call these brackets. In this passage, the bracket is the attribution, according to aides who sat near him on the podium. It's almost like a parenthetical remark. You don't need it to understand the meaning of the sentence, but some people want to know where you get your information. And remember, anyone can follow this simple formula. Start strong, finish strong. You don't need to be a genius. Now it's your turn. If you remember only one thing about the golden rule, let it be this. Usually, start by stating the noun and the verb. Now, take any nearby piece of writing, a book, magazine, newspaper, blog, whatever. Sentence by sentence, check to see if the author starts strong. 